The Family Search Wiki is a free guide that helps us know where to look when we have a genealogy question. But did you know that you could help edit that research guide and make it the best one in the world? In this video, I'm going to show you how. Howdy, I'm Devin Noel Lee with Family History Fanatics, where we help you understand DNA, climb your family tree, and write your ancestors' stories along the way. Now, I want to make sure that everybody knows what a research guide is. So let me take a moment to get you caught up on what they are. So a research guide is simply a portal to additional records and reference material that you need to investigate your family and climb your family tree. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the changes that I made and some of these things I've learned because it a little bit it is a little bit wonky. Who can edit the Family Search Wiki? So far as I can tell, anyone with a Family Search account can contribute to the Family Search Wiki. The first thing you have to do is request privileges and there will be a link in the description for the page you need to request those privileges. Additionally, there will be training material that you can access because once you know that you can edit the research wiki, you need to learn how. And there is a wiki tutorial available. Now here we are at the Family Search website and we want to go to the Family Search wiki. Sometimes when you shrink your window, it'll be down on the side. And sometimes when you have full screen on desktop, the, the menu will be at the top. But you know you're in the Family Search Wiki when you um, have these talk tab, view source, view history tab. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and type in a page or locality that you want to work with. So. Here's the Michigan genealogy website or wiki page. And when I scroll down, there's lots of places where I can edit. I can edit the information about Michigan itself. I can um, talk about the map, although I would just leave it alone. Um, if I had information about migration mounts, routes, I can add it there. Um, Earlier, I added a few links that I had for this section called additional resources. And when I clicked on the edit button, it takes me to a visual editor. So you don't see any codes. You can move things around. You can add links and it is pretty simple. However, when I went to save it, it totally messed up the page. I tell you this for two reasons. One, I don't like the visual editor as, uh, as of this recording. And two, there's always a way to fix the mistakes that you make. And so you just go up to the top and you can view the history of the changes of this page. And it says, do you wanna leave it? I wanna go ahead and leave it. And I can see the histories here of the changes that made, that were made. And then I can hit put the previous version and then I can correct the changes I made. And there is also a way to get help and let people know that you need assistance. I've found the community to be very responsive and helpful whenever I made a mistake. So I want to edit the Gazetteer page for Michigan and I, can add some headings so that this section becomes a little easier to read and I quickly remember what is this section about. And then I can also add some additional links that I have discovered when researching Michigan. So I'm gonna come up here to the edit source section and I want to add a headline for this section that says published and gazetteers. I think that would be a very good title for this section. Now, when you want to make headlines, you add an equal sign. That's a plus sign, an equal sign. For every equal sign you make, your headline sign becomes smaller and smaller. So I'm just gonna add two for now, 
and say published gazetteers. Now I have to also put the same number of equals signs on the back end. And now I can have a headline. I come down here to show preview. And then when I go to the top, now it says published gazetteers, several helpful gazetteers. And here's some books. Now I have this section where it says see also, and it's sort of confusing. So one of the things I can do is change that to a subheading by finding it here in the code. And notice I don't have to know a lot about code in order to make some positive changes. One of the things I like to do when I know there's a piece of code that I want to migrate to another location, I'll go and copy it. And I'm going to come down here. So now you see what happens when there's four equal signs. It doesn't really look like a title. So I'm going to do, just take this out and I'm going to use the one ahead, but I don't want it to be the same size as the published genealogist. I want it to be a subheading. So on the front and the back, I'm going to add an extra equal sign and I'm going to say state gazetteer business directories. So I see that these business directories are over on the Google books section. So I want to add a little bit of information. So I have added a little description to let others know about the Polk's gazetteers. Then I put this little BR. BR is a break, a break in the line. And then here is the link, but I would like it to be a list. So if I put the asterisk in front of it, I can have a list. I'm going to do that for those three entries that were there. So I'm going to come down here to preview. So I published genealogies and now I have Polk Gazette. Notice by adding the additional equal signs, I have a different headline. And now I have that paragraph or a little sentence here that tells me what this is because this really isn't helpful. So let's say you wanted to change 1873 to something a little more descriptive. This front section within these brackets, this one right here, that is the URL to the Google Books. Right here, there's a space and then there's 1873. If I want to change this to have it be more reflective with the title, Michigan State and Business Directory for 1873, this was the 1873 one, I can just copy and paste that information and put it there. Or I can put 1873 Michigan Business Directory. Now let's go see what that looks like in Show Preview. And it says Polk, and then it's the Gazetteer. And now this is more descriptive than just 1873. So I can go ahead and update 1875 and 1877 in the same way. Before I save the changes, I need to indicate that this was a minor edit and then explain what I did. Now you do this so that others can know what changes you made as well as you can remind yourself. On the read page, we can see that when we scroll down, those, effect, those edits are now live. So what happens if you know of additional resources that you can add to any of the wiki pages? Let me go through the process of how I'm going to add some additional Atlas and Gazetteer information that I had found while learning more about Michigan. So once again, I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to do edit source. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it here because I'm going to add online Gazetteer. So here I am just going to put a bulleted list of reference material that is linked. So I need to scroll back to the link that I used before and just change it up. So I'm going to grab that. Remember the asterisk in front of information makes it a bulleted list. And then you have a bracket, you have your link. So the link I'm going to use is for the University of Michigan reference material for Michigan County histories and atlases. So although this could be in 
the county here's history section if you're looking for atlases you definitely want to know that there's an atlas project and the link to that page now there's another resource that i found from envision the past and i can put that link right here and put the title of that website envision the past in this after the space you got to have the space or it doesn't work when you have the, that space right here then this will become the part that it, you will see with the link to it let's see what those changes look like again i'm going to do show preview now i have online atlases and gazetteers and then the links to the two websites. So I hope you will take time to add to the Family Search Wiki if you know of reference material that is not on the Family Search Wiki. If playing with code is too scary, there is a way to submit changes to the Family Search Wiki. I'll have a link to the uh, change submission request form in the description as well. If you want more tips on how to research on Family Search, make sure you check out that playlist right there. And if you want our latest video, it is right here.